Okay, today we're going to talk a little bit about um, you know sol solutions, solutes, uh, solvents, and con concentrations. Um, you know how concentrated something is. Um, so first, before we get into that, we need to just go over a couple things. Um, as usual, you know you might have forgot a couple terms, um, but they're, they're, they're they won't take long. So first thing. Um, solution. You know, what is a solution? Well, you know, it's just a, a consistent mixture of something in a single phase. And by consistent, you know, your book might call it homogeneous. A uh, homogeneous mixture in a single phase. And by phase, we're just talking, you know, gas, liquid, you know, yada, yada, yada. Probably won't have any too probably won't have too much uh, solids <laughs> in your solutions. So, you know, we're, we're dealing with a, a lot of things like that. So, um, next thing we need, we need to do is solvent. What's a solvent? Well, a solvent dissolves the solute. And we'll, don't worry, we'll get into this in a minute. Um, so anything that dissolves something, say you pour some sugar in some water, some salt in some water, Yada yada yada. As a matter of fact, you uh, water is kind of nicknamed the universal solvent because th so many things are dissolved in water. Okay. Um, then next, you know, solute. Well, that's just the stuff that gets dissolved by the solvent. So um, nothing too too big there. Um, so so um, we need a way of expressing how much solute is in a solvent. Like say we have an acid solution. How strong is it? How much acid did I pour into the water? Okay, or how much water did I pour into the acid to dilute it or to, you know to make it strong or dilute it or or uh, what what not. So um, we call that concentration and that's just solute. How much solute is in a solvent and you're gonna see an amount it's gonna be given usually in an amount over volume, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the big capital M, okay? And that's called molarity because it's gonna give us the concentration per mole, okay? And that's gonna be, um, and that's, uh, let me just write it here. Or the molar concentration, and and it's it's a good it's a good way of uh, talking about it because you know we're always using moles in chemistry, um, and amounts over a volume. So you'll probably, well, I mean it is you are going to see moles over liters. Is that th that is exactly how um, big M right here is expressed? It's in moles over liters. Okay, so. Um, just, just for starters, just to get um, kind of uh, messing around. Um, let's say, let's say I have um, twenty-five point zero grams. I've already wrote this one out. I'm not making this up off the top of my head. Um, okay, I got twenty-five grams of copper two sulfate pentahydrate. And let's see here. I've got, I've got, oops, I've got 450 milliliters total. You know when it's all said and said and done. So basically, I threw, um, I threw 25 grams of copper two sulfate pentahydrate. Um, I mixed it some with some water. Um, the final volume of this mixture, the solution, is 450 milliliters. Um, that's important. I want to know that th this number right here. Okay, th this this. Um, let me just go ahead and write it. Um, don't get confused and and um, you know tr try to think of these as two separate things because at the end of the day, what are we trying to do? we want the concentration of a particular volume. So, of course, that particular volume of solution has got to have the solute in it, okay? So don't, don't try to, like, separate this. Don't, don't convert this to, you know, milliliters and then add it to the 450. We're, we're not doing this, you know? This is our, our, our final 
volume, okay? Okay, so now that we, we've got that out of the way, uh, let's, so let's say I have 25 grams of this stuff, and it's molar mass is what you'd, you'd have, I'd have to tell you that. So it's 20, um, so it's 249.7 grams per mole. That's how much this uh, copper 2 sulfate uh, pentahydrate weighs. Well, first of all, um, remember, you know, moles over liter is what we're looking for, okay? So I'm going to have to get moles, and I'm, gonna I'm just going to have to do a, a, a conversion from grams to moles. I can do that right here. And then I'm also going to have to take milliliters into liters, okay? So that's not going to be too hard. So let me take... 25 grams. Notice how there's two significant or three significant figures here. And I'm just gonna write. Um, I'm gonna kind of abbreviate this uh, big name like that. I'm gonna multiply by one mole is 249.7 grams. Okay. So what's that? What's my final uh, moles of this? Uh, this uh, hydrated compound gonna be. Okay, look, there's a, uh, looks like uh, three significant figures one would have to go on. So my calculator came out with this answer. So I'm just gonna go 0 0.100 mole. Okay. Now, um, 450 milliliters, um, 500 milliliters would be half a liter, right? Because there's a thousand milliliters in a liter. So uh, 0 0.500 would be half a liter. So we're just gonna rewrite um, So we'll just go uh, 0 0.450 liters, right? Um, and, and, and if you know you can't do that in your head, no problem. You go ahead and convert it. Uh, so I'll, now, now all I need to do is take big M, molarity. I just need to divide moles over volume, which is just under half a liter. Okay? So... And what do I get? Looks like keep hitting the wrong button, sorry. Okay, sorry about the little delay there. My, my calculator just had, had like a button stuck. Um, so you know, I put it in my backpack without the lid on it, so it probably has something to do with that. So it kept on like, I kept on typing in, it would went zero and just put a whole bunch of zeros in there. But anyways, all, all I did is I just divided. Um, you know, it's just a, oh, excuse me, at the end of the day. So um, our concentration is, um, 0.22 M, which just means there's 0.22 moles per one liter. Okay, so it, it's fairly dilute if you ask me. Um, that doesn't seem like a whole lot. So um, I think we, uh, that, but that's just the intro to it. Um, that's just, um, you know, that's just kind of where it comes from. Uh, familiarize yourself with these, these definitions if you haven't. And... We'll, uh, we'll, we'll tackle some more in the next video, okay? Cool.